What is NOFAP? A philosophy of self-discipline through the denial of masturbation and orgasm. It claims that those who stave off their desire for easy orgasm can attain significant power over their minds and bodies. I do not disagree with this, but I am going to try and contextualize this philosophy, because practitioners often fall into a moralistic pit, unable to understand exactly why what they do affects them, outside of a kind of uh, moralistic uh, system. So to begin, we should take a look at what semen retention is and what it historically was. Uh, this was very popular in the Taoist tradition because they believed that orgasm, but specifically ejaculation, released qi, which is kind of the, the sexual energy, the animal magnetism, the mana that is inherent in a being. And of course, if you lose all of that, you die. So they mastered the ability to have sex without ejaculating. This is very, very different from NoFap, because NoFap is not just a denial of ejaculation. It is a denial of masturbation itself, and in extreme cases of sex itself. Um, and unfortunately, this often has a very Christian tint in which sex is written off as immoral, uh, or that women are stealing it. Um, this is an essential misunderstanding. The Taoists adored sexuality. They were merely trying to preserve qi. Along with this, with this misunderstanding of the morality of ejaculation, we have um, the misunderstanding of what libido is, of what the sex drive is. Uh, of course, what Wilhelm Reich describes as orgon energy. Um, Freud has this brilliant line, which is that all energy is sexual. Um, this is very important because to understand why NoFap is able to actually give people, you know, a, a good deal of power over their minds and bodies is because they are harvesting and harnessing energy that would have otherwise been squandered, uh, wasted on uh, kind of a, a, a useless, fruitless masturbation. Uh, something that Reich notes, which is very important, is that masturbation almost always, and especially in pornography, is simply recreating an Oedipal fantasy. So when somebody masturbates, they are giving energy to their own regression, to their own becoming childish, in a way that uh, real sex does not. Sex itself is the very opposite of regression. It is a moving forward. It is a progress. A point that I wanted to make about the concept of masturbation addiction, and really just addiction in general, is a story that I had heard attributed to the magician Gurdjieff, and it's something that is echoed by the guru Osho, which is that of a a student of Gurdjieff who had smoked cigarettes. He was addicted to cigarettes. And after going to, uh, going to Gurdjieff, he says, you know, oh, I want to learn magical powers. What do I do? And Gurdjieff says, all right, stop smoking cigarettes. Come back to me when you are comfortable not smoking cigarettes, when you're completely uh, no longer addicted. So, of course, the man comes back and he says, well, now I, uh, I no longer smoke cigarettes. I'm no longer addicted. And Gurdjieff says, okay, start smoking again, and don't get addicted this time. I think that is a really brilliant sentiment, because that is the very point of magic. It is to have control over yourself to the extent that you can do anything. Uh, Christians often live on a very thin line. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of religions live on this thin line, where if you do something, you destroy uh, your progress, you know, somebody that no faps uh, or somebody that does no fap uh, when they masturbate, they have just relapsed. That destroyed their progress. Um, that is an that is not a sustainable 
system of self-discipline. Uh, one should be able to engage in any traditionally negative habit without becoming addicted, without being affected. That is the sign of somebody who has truly attained. Another very important aspect is something that Nietzsche talks about in Human All Too Human. He describes while talking about the saints. It is an established fact that the imagination is restrained through the regularity and adequacy of sexual intercourse, while on the other hand, abstention from or great irregularity in sexual intercourse will cause the imagination to run riot. The imaginations of many of the Christian saints were obscene to a degree, and because of the theory that sexual desires were in reality demons that raged within them, the saints did not feel wholly responsible for them. It is to this conviction that we are indebted for the highly instructive sincerity of their evidence against themselves. It was to their interest that this contest should always be kept up in some fashion, because by means of this contest, as already stated, their empty lives gained distraction, in order that the contest might seem sufficiently great to inspire sympathy and admiration in the unsanctified, it was essential that sexual capacity be ever more and more damned and denounced. This is extremely important, that we see the repression of sex drive as a means toward religious attainment. This is the, the kind of ultimate negative aspect of religion, which Nietzsche famously says is essentially ritualized cruelty. This is very important because we can see Nofap echoes this Christian sentiment, not the Taoist sentiment of retaining life force, but the Christian sentiment of a demonic form of the sex drive which must be fought so that one can attain even a semblance of a, a quality of life. But what I will say on the flaws of people who masturbate too often is that masturbation is not an empty task. It is not an empty act. Masturbation and orgasm devotes energy to the idol, to the fantasy that was utilized for the orgasm. This is what Aleister Crowley uh, would jokingly refer to as sacrificing children. Because you have to keep in mind, you know, um, there's the, the kind of Christian fear tactic where they say every time you masturbate or every time you have um, sex with a contraceptive, you are killing off potential children. This is true. This is actually, uh, this is magically true. Every time that you orgasm, you are devoting a potential child to an idea. If you only masturbate to pornography or to um, a fantasy, you are giving a child up to an arguably uh, useless or negative cause. This is why Crowley would masturbate daily to a sigil, to a magical working. This is what Austin Osman Spare did. This is what chaos magicians do. They utilize that energy in accordance with their will. Uh, and then to finish off with another really important point that I think kind of puts the nail in the coffin in the case of NoFap as the supreme system of modern uh, attainment through an atheistic means is the idea that masturbation is even the primary problem Video games and the internet are the biggest sinks for libidinal energy. Um, libido is, of course, not just sexual, or not just physically sexual. As Freud said, and as I said earlier in the video, all energy is sexual. So if you spend the three hours a day playing a video game or browsing the internet, you are devoting your libidinal energy 
into this trap. It's not as if you stop masturbating and suddenly you are in complete control of your libido. In fact, oftentimes what people do is they just play video games more. They just go on the internet more. They are not utilizing this newfound well of untapped libido to do their will. It's just being squandered elsewhere. This is why magic is so much better. It is the supreme force because it is focused upon the individual will. When you do your will, when you direct your libido toward a singular will, those wastes that were squandering your libido before simply waste away themselves. There will be no point because you act in accordance with your will, in accordance with your desire, you will no longer waste energy, or at least you will be in the process of ridding yourself of energetic wastes. This is why I think NoFap is a fair starting point for people that realize that they are wasting away their energy. It is a worthy meme of the times, especially since porn addiction and masturbation addiction are such a prevalent issue. But what I hope I could do with this video is just show you guys that there are, in fact, much more meaningful and philosophically uh, based alternatives to something kind of as silly and unestablished as NoFap. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, remember, memes matter. Thank you.